if you're asking yourself how much money you can make wholesaling houses, then you come to the right place. But the answers may not might not be what you think. So let's get started and get to the bottom of this right now. My name is Don Thornton. I'm Don the Short Sale Guy. I flipped well over 2,500 uh, houses in my career here in Florida. And uh, I'm just a guy that can give you the heads up on, on how to do this wholesaling thing. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how much people can make and the dangers, the long-term dangers, if you're doing uh, wholesaling or decide you want to get into wholesaling. And finally, I'm going to clue you in on to an amazing way to make money in, a, in the coming down market, which we know is coming with all these foreclosures happening. So uh, you can make, if you just do wholesaling right now, you can probably make anywhere between eight to ten thousand dollars on a flip. It honestly just depends on the, the spread you get and how much money you want to make. I don't think, I mean, if you're just brand new and just thinking about doing wholesaling, then you may or may not have uh, come to this conclusion that you are going to be giving away most of your profit to cash buyers. That's just the way it is. I mean, it's the nature of the beast because they have the money. And that means that they have the control and you don't have the money. At least you really could have the money if you wanted to. I have a different video about that. But uh, as right now in this position, you don't have the money to cash it out. The cash buyer knows that. Therefore, he or she is knows that they have the leverage and they know that, uh, you know, they, that you want to get some cash and that you're willing to give away you know, the, most of the profit to them just to get some quick money. And that's just the nature of the beast. Personally, I don't agree with that. I feel like that if you get the house, then you're entitled to the majority of the profit. But I have a philosophical difference when it comes to wholesaling in general. Just for just as a matter of context, I've never wholesaled a property. I have wholesaled short sales, and it is by far the, the most uh, profitable way to do wholesaling. I'll get into that a little bit later in the video, but I'm just saying that um, understand that your profit is going to be minimal. And Think about what you're going to do. You're going to have to get uh, a huge cash buyers list. It's a lot of research, a lot of contacting cash buyers. Uh, you're going to do a lot of research on the property, determine what its after repair value is or ARV. You know, got to find out what the mortgage payoff is that the homeowner has. You have to do a lot of legwork. And, and now because of all the uh, new laws and new emphasis from the attorney generals, attorneys general in different states, they are really on a mission to stop wholesaling. They want you to get a license or they want you to cash out the property and become the owner. What they don't want people to do is to get it under contract with no intention of buying it themselves, flipping it, assigning the contract and making money. They, don't, they, they feel like that is operating as a, as a real estate agent without a license. And in most states, it's a third degree felony. So you're up against the, the, you're up against the, um, uh, you know, the eight ball when it comes to this. Okay. So, uh, but honestly, you can make about, uh, you know, five to eight, ten thousand uh, dollars on a quick wholesaling deal. And for some people, that's great. But, you know, I prefer to make twenty, thirty thousand dollars on on my flips, but we'll get into that a little bit later. So, I just have a question for you. Um, in the comments, uh, in, you know, I would really like to hear your opinion about if you've thought this through or what's your experience been like as a wholesaler, because I'd like to know, and we can certainly compare notes about what my experience has been on the other side, where I've chosen to flip my houses in a, in a different way, which frankly, I think is better. But yeah, I'd be interested to know. So like I said, uh, in the comments below, uh, let me know. I'd be glad to talk more about it. Now, I want to continue on the thread that I just introduced in this last point was about that. Um, wholesaling as a industry or as a tactic, in my opinion, is going to go bye-bye here real soon. And obviously, I, I touched on that with the attorneys general and the fact that, well, remember, you've got the National Association of Realtors is a hugely powerful lobby, and they do their best to lobby state legislatures and Congress about uh, making sure that they want their dues, they want people to be involved in putting buyers and sellers together, they feel like that should be a, um, a real estate agent, a licensed, trained, well, trained. I'm a realtor myself, so I know the training's not that much. They, they, they train you to uh, uh, pass a test. They don't train you really to how to be a great realtor, but that's a whole different subject. So uh, I would say that long-term, the biggest danger is the fact that they want to make you stop wholesaling as a profession. 
But another one you might not be thinking about here is that, you know, we have all these millions of uh, homeowners who have not been paying their mortgages in, you know, during COVID and actually before COVID, frankly, and there's been no way to get those properties on the market because there's been a foreclosure moratorium. And now they're starting to be filed. We've already seen that buyers are getting skittish. Um, houses are staying on the market longer. It's not a feeding frenzy like it used to be. And when these foreclosures start hitting the hitting the um, the landscape and getting on MLS and and when, when properties are getting foreclosed on and then they're going to be out there as bank owned properties, it the market's going to start going down. I remember a lot of these government loans that are are for people that, who have not who don't have to put a lot of money down which is FHA, VA, or USDA, because they're 100% financing or 97% financing, if the market goes down just a little bit, those are, they're going to be upside down. And I don't know about you, but I know there's a lot, of, a lot of cash buyers out there are not going to want to give you a dime if you have a negative equity property. And maybe right now you haven't experienced that or if you've been in the business for a while because the market's been hot in the last you know seven, eight years, it's really been on the way up. And so it's easier to make money wholesaling or to make money in real estate in general in an appreciating market. I doubt that many of you have been around since 2008, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 in that area when the market was down and you couldn't, there, there was no uh, appreciation in the market and it was much harder. I mean, I knew so many wholesalers who went belly up during the last, uh, um, the great recession. I'm not saying the great recession is coming, I'm just telling you that a market correction is coming and it's going to seriously inhibit your ability to wholesale and make money consistently. So if I was a wholesaler, I'd be worried. I would definitely be worried. So um, what I'd like for you to do is to subscribe to my podcast. I'm going to see my podcast, my, my YouTube channel, because I drop these kind of uh, informative videos all the time. And if you find value in this, if you feel like that what I'm telling you is worthwhile, then you probably want to be uh, alerted when uh, I drop a new video. I'm dropping maybe one of, almost every day. So it'd be nice for you to know that you can get access, access this right away. And like I said, just down below, hit the find the subscribe button and click it. And I'd love to have you as a, uh, as a subscriber. Now, I've been giving you some gloom and doom uh, notes here about how the attorney generals want to go after you, about how the market, there's going to be a market correction and how it's going to get harder and harder to make money uh, wholesaling. But the good news is that there's a completely different way to make money, which frankly is easier. And there's going to be more, uh, a, there's going to be more opportunities to get these kinds of houses. And you're not going to have as much competition because why? Well, I'll tell you why. Because as more foreclosures are filed, as more pro as the market goes down, and again, it doesn't to be a, does not have to be a substantial dis or a reduction in the prices. Uh, it's still going to be a lot of properties are out are going to turn into be upside down or underwater or have negative equity, whatever jargon you want to use. And the only way to be able to get those sold is to do a short sale. Now, listen, I know a lot of wholesalers even now are referring me deals because they find a homeowner that doesn't, they can't, it needs to sell their house, but they're upside down. The wholesaler doesn't know how to do it. Hardly anybody knows how to do it because who wants to do it, right? But the good news is that I have been, I'm called the short sale guy. I'm a short sale guy for a reason because I've been doing short sales since 2003. Actually, I started in 2002. I just got really good at it at the end of 2003 and into 2004. And I've done so many short sales and we do short sale flips and it's amazing uh, and the profits there. And the great thing is, is that there's not that much competition. What do wholesalers do when they come up against an underwater property? They move on. They can't do anything with it, right? You can get those and you, you can just, you know, hey, I'm, you know, establish yourself as a short sale person and just you can work with someone like myself. We will take any short sale that you send us and we can do a commission uh, uh, agreement and a joint venture and we'll do all the work for you, make, create the equity and get it sold and then you make money and you get a nice, um, you get a nice uh, um, uh, commission out of that. I've got a guy on my team who was a beginner, had hardly any experience whatsoever. And I taught him how to do this stuff. And even during the pandemic, he was getting, you know, seven, eight houses a month. And now he's got like 60. So he's in line to make a lot of money, you know, almost $200,000 is what he'll make on those houses uh, when all is said and done. And it's like shooting fish in a barrel because nobody wants the short sales. 
But if you learn to do this and, and I can help teach you this, we can work together. Uh, you can make a lot of money and you could be laughing at the ones that don't know how to do, how to make money in real estate investing in the down market because you'll know how to do it and you'll thrive. And so you can make money in a, in a hot market which you already know how to do. And you can make money in a, in a bad market, which you're going to learn how to do because I'm going to teach you. And then you can, it'll, you'll have so much stability and you won't fear market corrections because you can just ride them out because you know how they work. You can make money in the bad times and the good times. So uh, what I want you to do right now is go down into the description of uh, my YouTube video here. You're going to see a link that's going to say short sales made easy dot now dot site. Go there and you can get more information about how uh, to learn how to make money uh, doing short sales and finding distressed sellers who are upside down on their mortgages. And it'll be a life changer. Your life will never be the same when you learn how to make money in the down market. And when I'm giving that money for free. I mean, I get that information for free. You don't have to pay for it. So uh, thank you very much for uh, you know, watching this video. And I will look forward to seeing you at my next video.